first I'm going to start off with my foundation and for my foundation I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation mixed with Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo. And I like to just take a brush just like this and just mix it together. And I do this mostly because the Kat Von D has a lot more coverage but at the same time um, there's not really a color that matches me very well. So I just go ahead and mix those two together. And then I go in with a damp beauty blender or a beauty sponge. And I know you guys are probably gonna be like, oh my God, your foundation is so light. But honestly, it's not because it matches my neck. My face is just really, really dark for some reason. to go in with my concealer and for that I will be using the NARS creamy radiant or radiant concealer in ginger to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour palette in light to medium and I'm just going to take this banana shade right here and I'm just going to set the under eyes and this powder actually does really help the um, concealer to appear a lot lighter I'm also going to set my eyelids so I don't have any creasing for when I add shadow later on ahead and highlight the high points of my face and includes down the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead so basically just my t-zone gonna buff that in with the same beauty blender honestly nose contouring is so important like my nose is very um I have a nice bridge but it's very like I have a lot of cartilage up here so I like to um, contour it which I'll show you later and you know obviously make it more narrow but I like to kind of cut the tip a little bit so it makes it look like it's a lot shorter than it actually is and then I'm gonna go in and mix the banana shade as well as this lighter shade here and I'm just going to set those high points <laughs> So I'll be taking my L'Oreal True Match powder, and I believe this color is cappuccino. So it's kind of, you know, like a warm, dark brown. I actually have a really hard time finding colors to contour with. So if you guys have any recommendations for some of my skin tone, like NC42, NC40, um, please let me know. So I'm going to actually go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette as well. And I'm going to take that middle cool tone shade. And I'm really going to load my brush with that. And here I'm just using a me, me, me brush I got in my Ipsy palette. And I'm going to mix it with that cappuccino shade. And I'm just going to take this here. And I'm just going to start carving out my cheekbones. So... I'm gonna go ahead and run that cool tone just like right along my hairline so now I'm gonna go in um, with my bronzer and my bronzer is the Mac studio fix um, powder in NC 45 and I'm just going in with a Mac 167 brush this is um, a special edition brush so I've had it for like four years but then I just kind of dust that on the upper part of my cheek I look at you know the apples on my cheeks and I kind of like to go 
right next to those and just kind of blend upward because I'll be putting blush there later on. Um, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder in NC40, I believe it is. Yes, NC40. And I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. powder flat brush and just kind of clean up the lines and then just blend it away. So next I'm going to be using my Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Blush. I got this in an Ipsy and I actually did not think I was going to like it, but then it's so beautiful, so natural, and I just smile and just dust that on. And this is just um, a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's just like a blend. It came in um, a pack of her brushes. And I like to just um, take the blush, tap some in here because it is a loose mineral powder. Swirl it around and then tap off the excess. Okay, so now for the fun part, we are going to contour our nose. So let me make sure you can see when I go to go. So I have this little Lorac palette that I got for Christmas. I don't actually know. It's black skinny eyeshadow palette. I don't really know. But when I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, there are shades in here that are going to be so good for contouring. So I just take this um, middle shade mixed with this third shade. My dogs are barking. Jellybean! I just take it on this Urban Decay brush. This is from the Naked 3 palette. And I literally just go in and softly draw a little line there. And I like to really deeply take it in to um, my brow. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight. I'll be using the Anastasia um, Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm going to be using this crown brush I got in one of my Ipsy bags as well. I'm going to be taking Sunburst mixed with Dripping in Gold mixed with Gold and Bronze. And I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. To be moving on to the brows now so I use the Anastasia dip brow um, pomade in ebony and then I actually use the Maybelline eye studio gel cream liner in just you know the the blackest one there is so I like to dip into the brow pomade then I like to wop, wipe off the excess in the lid so that's what I'm doing right here and just get my brush as sharp as I can. So then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to underline the entire brow. I like to drag it out kind of long. You don't have to worry about being precise because you weren't going with concealer afterwards and clean it up anyways and then I just kind of like run through this just a little then I go on the top and this is when I start to build my arch so right where my eyebrow kind of goes up a little bit where the arch would be if I really honestly have one is where I like to start cutting it so that's what I'm gonna do here going to run through the brows with um, whatever's left on the brush of the pomade. And I just push it through towards the um, front of the brow. So now I'm going to dip into my um, gel eyeliner. 
and I'm just going to get that flat all over the brush and this is probably going to make you guys be like oh my god this bitch is crazy some fucking black tar eyebrows and shit but it's all good honestly that was a bad idea oh fuck <sighs> So I'm just going to rebuild that tail there. This is like really difficult, you guys. I hate doing brows on camera. Like, I swear to you, if YouTube like starts working out for me and stuff, I will be one of those people who will be like, so I already did my brows and just like skip through it and just like every now and then do an updated brow routine because this is actually hell on earth. So, so then I go in with the brush that I used to just put the product on my face before blending it out with my beauty blender and this is what I use to just clean up my brows. So then I like to just go in with this um, Maybelline, it's actually a clear mascara. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, finish my entire look, and then I will have this video up for you guys, and I will be posting the look that I'm actually doing today as well. Um, make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, um, my Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram is all Shania Levick, so I will link them below, and thank you so much for watching.